What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we got my February BoxyCharm. I think it's my favorite subscription. This is my third box, I think. Yeah, we got a few products in here and we are going to be testing out everything today. Okay. This month's theme is a Galaxy Glow. It would make sense. The one thing that makes it make sense for me is what I got on my lid right here. Okay loving it that's the theme also in the box we got a little oh it's a discount card 20 percent off your next purchase on coverfx.com so that's really cool maybe i will be buying a cover x cover of x product soon <laughs> okay normally before we actually get into the process of applying and trying these products i kind of go down and show you guys each of the products before i actually go in and start using them but we're doing it different this time. So if you guys want to see what products I got, how I use these products, and how they worked out for me, make sure you guys keep on watching. Alright you guys, I am like halfway through my getting ready process, about to start jumping into these BoxyCharm products. The first product we are going to use is the Pure Cosmetics Where is it? The Expo Lips Plumping Lip Exfoliator. Okay, this retails for $17. I'll just read what the card says about it. With an instant boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating beads, this 4-in-1 lip scrub pencil exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and soothes. Okay, using the shea butter to soften lips while the raw sugar and exfoliating beads are used to buff away dead surface cells and moisturizes the lips for a softer, smoother, more plump lip. Alright, so you open it up and it looks like this. This kind of brings up the product. Let's get this on my lips. Do you hear that? <laughs> I think my lips are really dry. I have like a lot of dead skin on my bottom lip. So once you use it the first time, that's when you really start to see like the sugars and everything like that. I don't know what it kind of tastes like, but it doesn't really taste bad, so I like that too. So that's on. We're going to let that stay on my lips while I kind of finish my eye. Now we are going to dip into, I think, my favorite product of this box, which is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil. It retails for $28. Pretty expensive product right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. These multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease-proof enough for the boldest of eye looks and formulated with a weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face. Suitable for all skin types. So I guess that you could like use it for highlight too, but we're just going to take this straight on my lid. Lid? <laughs> we're going to take this straight on my lid. I'll just swatch it for you so you guys can see. Like a holographic lavender pink color. Really excited to see how this is gonna look on my lid. Let's just get this on the lid. That's really holographic y pretty. <laughs> I think I need to dip into some more product though. <clears throat> Lord. Wow, I'm loving this. I'm really, really liking this. I'm gonna call it a liquid eyeshadow. How about that? <laughs> you know, I thought it was more pink, but I feel like it's more like a lavender purple color. Do they look even? I know it's a little messed up over here, but we gonna fix that. So I'm just gonna take this little small definer brush just to kinda Smooth out this edge right here. Are they even? Mm. Oh, I'm loving it! Oh god, I love it. So excited about this product. It's gonna really make me debate on getting more colors. But I want it to dry a little bit. If I was to compare this to a different liquid eyeshadow that I use, the Stilla liquid eyeshadows, the Stillas um, are way more like a wet feeling than these. This is more like a dry. Next up, I want to talk about these brushes. These are from Crown Pro. It's a trio brush set, obviously, because there's three of them. Okay. This little set retails for $29.99. Basically $10 a brush. I mean, 
it's not like super crazy expensive but it's not cheap you know what I'm saying for three brushes use this three-piece pro brush trio to contour your face to perfection the small brush which is this one can be used to conceal imperfections and highlight underneath the eyes the medium size brush, which is this one, can be used to sculpt the cheekbones and perimeter of the face. Okay, I don't know. It might be too much. The large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. So, I don't think I'm going to be using these brushes for what they say they're used for. This one, I don't know. Like, maybe I'll... I just feel like it's too dense and too, like, round to do, like, a contour. Maybe my nose... I think I'm going to use this one to pack some more purple on my outer corner and blend it all out. I am going to use for like my bronzer right here. My eyeshadows today, I am using the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette, the Mob Obsession. This is like the darkest color that I used over here on the outer corner, so we're just going to dip right into there. Woo! Picks up so much product. You guys, these brushes are really soft. I like crown brushes. I have quite a few of them, and I actually get, get them through, like, Ipsy, my Ipsy bags and things like that. Let's pack this on. Once we pack it on, we are going to be blending it out. We are experiencing some fallout didn't do that bad of a job, you know, getting the product on there and blending it out. I think I'm going to like it for this. What I'm noticing is the Cover FX Shimmer Veal uh, dries very quickly. And so it's making it a little bit difficult to kind of pack some shadow on there and blend it out. But we're making it happen. It's just taking a little extra time. So in future... Oh, yeah, a lot of fallout. In the future, I will probably have to get it on and then if I'm going to blend out more eyeshadow on the outer corner to do that quickly after I apply the cover effect stuff. We just want to make sure that the eyes are looking somewhat even, you know. Alright, I like how that turned out. I think I'm going to like this brush for a little smudger blender. We will come back to these after I finish this eye. Real quick, um, I did get this black eyeliner from, who's it from? Vintage Cosmetics. It's a smoky eye pencil. It retails for $21. Yikes. I am not going to use a black eyeliner today, so we're not actually going to put this on my eyes, but I will swatch it for you. Ooh, goes on very nice and smooth. Yeah, I'm liking that. I will definitely use this next time I am using... A black eyeliner. Okay. I am going to get some lashes on off camera and then we will be back to finish the last two brushes. We have our lashes on, mascara on my bottom lash. I used my Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I have been loving this ever since I tried it. I haven't even used my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara since I actually tried this, so <laughs> might be my new favorite. I do have a full review video on my channel on this mascara, so if you want to see how it applies, then I will leave that video link down below. Make sure you guys check it out. I've decided I'm not going to use this brush today. I just, I don't really want to use it. <laughs> so we're not going to. I'm going to use the big powder brush that you're supposed to set your face with everything to put my bronzer on instead. I'm going to be using my Tarte Clay Play Face Palette. I just mix these, these, I mix these two colors. Ooh, mix up a lot of product. I'm just going to bronze up under these cheekbones. Bronzer is on. The brush worked pretty well. I'm digging it. You know, it's cool. All right, let's dig into this last product. What we got is, it's from Ofra. We have a pop-up palette mini. Okay. A blush godet refill. So we are going to use this blush today. What I will say was in the February box, you were either getting these two things together or you were getting a Naked Cosmetics holographic highlighter palette. And I was really hoping on getting that holographic highlighter palette. 
I don't have one of these and I do have like some random pans of eyeshadows and highlighters and things like that. So it is going to come in handy. I just really wanted that other palette. I feel like every time I there's two variations of a box and I get super excited about a product, I end up not getting it. So I think I need to stop getting excited about things so I can actually get what I want. You guys feel me? But this little thing it opens up like this and then you can put your little eyeshadows, whatever in it. The pop up palette retails at $19 and this blush retails at $12. The blush offers strong pigment with a long lasting effect and a fabulous pressed powder blush. It okay. comes in like this. Oh, oh, okay, so it doesn't stay right there. <laughs> this is a good size blush. Let's get this on my. Ooh, okay. It's a cute color. I think it's going pretty with this look that I got going on today. I forgot to tell you guys for my lip color today, I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Boy Bye. And this was from her holiday collection, I believe. This is bringing us to the end of the video. Let's just give a little breakdown on these products. For sure, my most favorite is this Cover FX. I'm calling it a liquid eyeshadow, but it's called a Shimmer Veil. Veil? 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 Veil. Whatever. Oh, I'm loving it. I don't even know if you can tell how pretty it actually is on camera, but it is beautiful. <sighs> Makes me want to check out all the other colors that they have, but definitely my most favorite product. I could have just got this and been happy with it. You know what I'm saying? As far as these brushes go, I did like using this to pack on eyeshadow on my outer corner and blend it out. This worked out pretty well for my bronzer today. And this, I don't know, I don't really like do these types of brushes really. As far as this black smoky eye pencil, it's cool. I'm definitely going to try it out next time I am going to be using black eyeliner. I have so many bl different black pencil eyeliners that I really didn't need another one. But it is what it is. You can't have everything that you want. This little lip scrub thingy, I have one like from Tarte. I'm getting another lip scrub in my Ipsy February bag. And I think I just ordered one from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't know, I could have gone without this one too. But it, it was cool, like it, you know, it refreshed my lips, if you will. As far as this Ofra blush, it was cute. I don't know how often I will actually use it, but it's definitely cute for this look. Even though I'm disappointed I didn't get the holographic highlighter palette, this will come in handy for me because I don't have one of these yet and I just have my little randoms kind of sitting everywhere. I do like the fact that I have that now, but I just really wish that I would have got the other product instead, but I'm not mad at it, okay? Overall, I am very satisfied with the products that I got in my February BoxyCharm. I really enjoy doing these videos with my BoxyCharm, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching me test out these new products, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!